Hey, hi there, guys. Today I wanted to talk to you about constantly assuming negative intentions by others. Sort of your default setting is thinking that other people are having something bad in mind when they talk to you, when they make a comment, when they ask you questions, this sort of thing. And I want to compare this to the situation that I was confronted with being brought up in the 1980s. Um, when we went out on the street as uh, young guys, I think, you know, with our cars and so forth, we had our groups of people. And to some degree, the other guys were, well, not really our enemies, but you were constantly looking, hey, are they doing something? And there was all this posing and things. And maybe to some degree, this is a sort of a normal adolescent um, behavior in males. But at least I get the feeling that this has fortunately slowed down quite a bit with the young guys. But that's not the point here that I wanted to make. I wanted to go into the idea that if you constantly assume that other people that come to you have something on their mind and sort of want to um, treat you badly, they want to con you, they want to, you know, they're not saying the truth and this and that, then this says quite a lot about yourself. You might assume that this is all about the other people, but just like with the case with self-victimization, this has a lot to do with you thinking that other people want to do something to you. And this doesn't mean that you should disregard negative experiences that you had because that's how we learn. But still, there's something in it, especially if you make your negative expectations even worse, worse than when, um, in, in cases when there are certain groups of people involved. You know, obviously, men, women, uh, race relations, and all these things come into play when you make your expectations, because that is sort of what happens when you think in certain ways. What I think now is what is important that this setting has a lot to do with how we feel about other people on a personal level, just like how we feel about in between nations. And this brings me to obviously my subject relating personal development, personal relations to international relations, especially in this sort of development context. If we constantly think that um, the other side is not wanting to help me, then we will constantly look for evidence for that. And if we constantly think the other side just wants to get money from us and they're not really doing anything, then we will find evidence for that. So I think it is clear where this is going. And I believe that the solution to that is obviously that we all look into how we make assumptions uh, about other people and what our default setting is, you know, the sort of talking about social me media, what is our filter that we've set? So if I look at these sort of climate finance negotiations and I see uh, people, presidents standing there in this case from the African side, I don't want to make any assumptions about that, but let's just take this for an example. And they say, well, the others, um, the Western countries have pledged us uh, uh, money before and they're not giving it to us. We're not, we're not asking for favors, but they should just give it to us. I think this is a very understandable situation. 
but it falls into this, it, it contributes to this mindset of two sides, the one not giving the other. I think, you know, we're talking especially here about an international scenario and what is important to overcome the situation here is that this is about the world being fixed and it's not about one country receiving money for the other one to uh, from the other one to make things work it is about certain players having a responsibility trying to fix the situation so i think we should de nationalize this whole thing this is not a by by this shouldn't be a bilateral thing in any way and I think this uh, both sides have something to to fix here. There's a, there's a way to do this, and I do believe that has to do with this default setting about the intention of the other side. And a practical step is that this will never become any money that flows between two countries. It should be certain players that give certain things, and the where this is the the action is applied is where it makes most sense and where you get most of it, out of it. You know, that's, that's the whole thing. And I think that's how you can fix things. My, my point here. Yeah.